So Corey's been in the jungle for seven days, half of his time on Naked and Afraid. To celebrate, we're gonna have our own little survival challenge here at the house. Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. Good morning, Chelle Marie. How are you with your adorable bow and your pink onesie and your awesome ties? You doing good? You are a girly girl today. And of course, of course you're taking selfies. Of course you're doing that. For most of the day today, we're kind of working on house projects and there's a whole list of things I wanna get done before Corey gets back. So my parents are helping me with that. We also are filming a ton of videos today. I think I counted and I have six videos on my list to film. But one of the things I definitely, definitely wanna do is try and start making fire. I wanna walk around on those rocks that Corey was walking on and see like how bad it really hurts. And his feet are super cut up out there in the jungle. I, I don't know if those rocks helped prepare him, but I wanna try it. One of the first things we do after Cho wakes up from her first nap of the day is show her Corey's video. So now's the time. Tell Marie, yeah. don't you ever forget me, okay? I know I've only been gone for a little bit, but don't forget you daddy, okay? I want, you, I want you to know daddy when I go, rah! I want you to laugh, I want you to, she smile. I love you so much, baby girl. You're the best, sweetest little girl daddy could ever ask for. All right, I better get going for a um, crack again. Okay, and then we quickly move on to fun things so we don't get too sad, huh, mm -hmm. Chill. We have to have fun while daddy's gone, too. The first thing we're going to try today is stomping around in rocks without shoes on. I will say this is kind of cheating because as Corey was stomping in the rocks, they kind of wore down and became softer. And there aren't even that many big rocks in there still because he broke them all apart. All right, I got rocks. I got no shoes or socks on. Oh wait, I forgot something. If we're gonna do as Corey does, we gotta be Corey. There we go, now we can stomp on rocks. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I can't say that's the most comfortable thing ever. If you've ever walked in like a river without like river shoes on, that's what it reminds me of, but it's not, not so good. And he said doing this, I mean, he did this for like two hours a night, that that did not prepare him for out there because his feet are still all bloody and messed up. Ow! You wanna give it a go? After the baby drinks her milk. Yeah, she's a good excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really harder than you think. It, it is, right? That's a little, yeah, there. <laughs> every once in a while you get a, a sharp, sharp one. one. It's actually kind of interesting because at my parents' house, their shower has like a, a river rock bottom, like the tiles river rocks, but they're all smooth rocks, so it's a little different. Could you do that for like 14 days straight? No. That'd be hard. <laughs> I'd be building shoes for sure. You stole my hat. You like Dada's hat? Yeah. Does it smell like him? Yeah. Yeah, you like it. No, not time to say goodbye yet. Not time. All right, it is mom's turn to try the rocks. I, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> okay. One foot in. Two feet. <laughs> it's weird, right? Yeah. I I feel like I have the indentations that you and Mark already Wait had. a minute, <laughs> cheater. <laughs> oh, there, we'll move them around. Move them around a little bit. That's the weird part. It's like you're doing okay walking around and then all of a sudden one of them gets you. I'm sure that's what it's like in the jungle though. Like you're like, okay, I can do this, I can do this, and then you step on a thorn, yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. I feel sorry for him out there. <laughs> yeah, so everybody, you guys all watching, if you live somewhere where it's not like snowy outside, go outside without shoes on. Find some rocks and like, stop, do some jumping jacks or something. Here's your fire kit. Just have, have at it. My fire kit? Yeah, you're in the, you're in the jungle. It's getting cold. It's you gotta, cold. okay, newspaper to make fire on, right? Not to right, assist, right, 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 right. Luckily, we don't have like bamboo like Corey was stuck with, but We'll see, I've tried this before and I couldn't get it started, so we'll see how they do. Hey, there aren't any instructions. Do you think we could check, we could Google it, we could <laughs> check the internet? What do we get this for? I mm. think you can make out like this. It's fine. <laughs> It'd be a two-person thing. 
<laughs> you can sure. start fire however you want. Someone's already been successful, you can tell. Yeah, that was Corey. That was definitely Corey. Oh man, do I tell them that I forgot this piece? Do you want this you piece to your something. fire kit? That might, that might come in handy. <laughs> uh, this is like a bow and arrow. Well, you're getting that in there easy. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hang on, I gotta hold it there though. I know, I was gonna fly off and hit you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, my knees. It won't even move. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't. <laughs> it's hard, right? It is. It smells like I was starting to make fire. <laughs> Does that hurt your hand, your fingers? It's warm. Oh, look at that go! You oh, did good! Oh, he's getting smoke. Oh, golly. Oh, it's starting to burn it. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh no. man. Oh, it burned up our floor. You got a coal. Oh my gosh, she made fire. Look at that. Can I have a pillow? <laughs> have We're in the jungle. They don't have pillows in the okay, jungle. Okay, we'll go make a pillow first. Here, you take this. There's no yeah. pillows in okay. fire starting. <laughs> like oh, that. there you go. Because it's not. It's not moving. The stick's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just going to be cold and hungry and have dysentery. This is going to be terrible. <laughs> Luckily, I have this in my pouch. Oh, yeah. What is it? It's a fire starter. A fire starter? A nice little nest of leaves there. I think we need to put this on the board because... I'm gonna burn up your house. I don't want to. I don't think there's any danger of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many times do you have to do it? Oh, oh, oh it's oh, a spark. Oh, oh it's a now. spark. It boosted my confidence. Oh, golly. Wow. We had a fire. That's nuts. That was fire. <laughs> you made fire. <laughs> you made fire. <laughs> this would be handy. I should never go anywhere without this. That was pretty cool. It is getting kind of late and we are all worn out from trying to survive in Alaska. I think I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope you guys had an awesome day. I hope you have an amazing day tomorrow. Today is actually my last day as a person in my 20s. Tomorrow's my birthday, so we're gonna do some fun stuff tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to just spending time with family. I wish Corey was here. I miss him a whole lot, but it'll be good. Anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm. Heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm. So much to see, so much to do. And the best part is we're sharing it with you.